Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Let's go ahead and see what's in this energy. And also too, ooh, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is trying to meditate and heal. Oh man, we'll see what comes out. Five of pentacles. Somebody heartbroken here. Or they're healing from a heartbreak. Um, After feeling like left out in the cold, somebody could have ghosted you. You could have ghosted somebody. Apply it where it resonates. Flip the rolls. You got some communication heading in here towards you. Hot and heavy right now. Could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Somebody has something to say to you. Um, But I was getting ready to tell y'all real quick. The energy has been weird. Like, there's been a lot of karmic energy. People, karmics are real upset because a lot of divine masculine and divine feminines are getting ready to come into union and people are doing what they can to block it, okay? So, make sure you protect your energy by whatever means that you do, okay? Make sure you're staying prayed up. Make sure that, there goes that three of swords again. Oh my gosh. Make sure you're doing what you can, all right? Calling in your protection and asking for things to be returned back to the sender because I feel like it's all kinds of stuff going on right now with the energy actually spirit is saying start with the island time deck i told you somebody want to talk i just picked it up and it says coffee cup um uh, meeting and com conversating okay it really says conversing but show me the collective's energy here when it comes to divine masculine divine feminine current okay all right love healing heart i told you somebody's healing from a breakup or somebody here is doing everything they can to heal and show themselves some self-love. All right. Healing from a heartbreak, from toxic relationship or addiction. Self-love, unconditional love, oneness. Okay. Affection, attraction. So that's what's going on right now. You healing. Working on yourself. Mending your heart back to a good place. Show me more here. Thank you, Spirit. We have coffee cup. <laughs> I like how that came out. It was on the bottom of the deck a minute ago. I told you somebody wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Could be somebody new, but I feel like somebody from the past that ghosted you, abandoned you for some, I don't know, from for some God forbid reason. Show me more here. Whoa. And you were like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to have, I don't have anything to say to you. You, if you do, for those of you who do say anything to this person from the past, you're going to be like, not today, Satan. They could be blocked. Some of you guys have this person blocked. Or you're going to be like, what do you want? What do you want? Avoiding this person. You definitely have already set boundaries with this person because you've healed. Now this person wants to come back and interrupt your healing. Um, somebody's so angry, okay? You may have um, healed, but you're still upset with this person. Show me more. Coffin. You feel like it's over. What's done is done. I'm done. I don't want you back. I'm good. I'm healing. I have moved on. There's nothing. I don't need closure. Hmm. I want new. Yeah. Somebody want to tell you they've changed. They want to, yep, but they're wearing a mask here. Or they were wearing a mask. I feel like they were wearing a mask then because they hurt you. Because uh, you would not, you didn't think this person, you trusted this person at one point. You didn't think that they were going to do whatever they did to you. You expected more from this person, okay? And then you realize, oh my gosh, you learned a lot of valuable lessons with this situation. Somebody could have been a gaslighter here. Show me about this mask energy. Hmm. You definitely don't trust them anymore. Palm tree. I told you somebody about to come back towards you and say, but I changed. <laughs> I'm not wilding out like I used to. I don't do the things I used to do no more. I changed for you. Girl talk. <laughs> somebody really want to talk to you. I'm telling you, I feel like you're single. You're healing. You're not bothered by this person. Okay. I'm just saying. Cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over in your head, um, fell out on palm tree. Somebody could be. There is a small possibility. I'm just going to say that for some of y'all that the past person may have. We're going to check and see, but have they healed and have they, yeah, somebody wants to come in towards you. Ace of Pentacles, Temperance could be a Sagittarius. <clears throat> or you could be a Sag. Hmm. But this person might be realizing, like, dang, I need to change. I, I might have to change. 
it could be an Aquarius, the star card. Okay. I'm just like, because they're naked. Um, hmm. They definitely want to renew this relationship. Okay. And they're really hoping this person is actually pretty positive. They're thinking positive right now. Hmm. Show me more about this. The moon, but they're not saying anything here. Cancer energy. That could be. Let's see. It's like there's still something hidden here. Well, whatever was hidden is coming out. Ace of Swords. So it's giving me the truth is I love you. Page of Pentacles. But I regret everything that I did. Five of Cups. I regret the past. I have not moved on. I feel like that's what they want to tell you. The Eight of Cups. Who walked away? I know you already walked away. They may want to tell you they walked away and left another situation they, they weren't happy with. Okay. Hmm. There's a hidden element here of somebody hid something from you from in the past. But you may already know what it is that they hid from you, but this person thinks that you don't know. But you do know. Show me more here. The Knight of Swords. The Four of Wands. Somebody getting ready to come to your house here. What's this Knight of Swords? Clarify this Knight of Swords. I feel like this person knows what they want. Yeah, they're definitely, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this person wants to flip and marry you. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. <laughs> Chariot, cancer energy. They might have to travel towards you, drive somewhere in the hair font. They may even want to run off and go get married somewhere. Taurus energy with this four of wands. I feel like this person is going to be very direct with what they have to say. The ace of swords and the knight of swords is out here. I feel like wherever somebody was confused, they're not confused anymore. Hmm. There's something here about somebody's belief system too. Like I said earlier, somebody here, maybe the way they view relationships was the issue, right? And now they're learning like the way I view relationships got in the way. Um, clarify the four of wands. But they definitely want to re reconcile. Clarify the four of wands. Somebody's yeah, the magician, Gemini energy. They want to marry you, child. I don't know how else to say this. They willing to do something. I just don't think you want to talk to them. Clarify the four of wands. They want to talk so bad. Eight of swords. I mean, not eight of swords. Eight of wands. With the hangman. What's this hangman? This person is willing to... This person is really... Willing to make a sacrifice. I feel like justice on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Two of cups. Underneath that. They want to come in and make things right. And it may shock you to the point where you're like, I don't believe you. You might not even answer the phone when they call you. You're going to be looking at this person. Looking at your phone. And you're not going to answer for some of y'all. But I feel like some cars just fell on the floor. I'm not picking them up. All right. Show me what this uh, Ace of Swords is. The Emperor. I told you this masculine, your divine masculine wants to talk. Uh-huh. And what's this moon? What's this moon? The Chariot. I feel like they really want to get everything out and on the, on the table, out in the open. I do. Clarify the moon. Yeah, they do. Ace of, Ace of Swords. I mean, why did I say Ace of Swords? Ace of uh, Wands. They want a new passionate beginning with you. Okay. Clarify the moon. The Knight of Cups. This person hid their feelings, I'm telling you. They're getting ready to travel towards you. Somebody.
somebody was put in a third party situation, this masculine, you may have, okay, take this how it resonates, okay? You could have left this person because they put you in a third party situation. It's like they didn't want to be with you or they couldn't commit to you at that time when the two of you were like in contact with each other, when y'all were dealing with each other, right? They put you they put you in a third party situation. They went back to an ex. They were still dealing with that ex, but you knew. You knew, right? Um for some of y'all, this person is leaving somebody they've been with that they had a family with or they had kids from, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, and they were betrayed. That relationship failed. Some friends, somebody that they were close to have maybe betrayed them. Some people that they trusted betrayed them. And they're moving away from this friend group or this person they have kids from or this person that they were with or the person that they went back to. They could be um, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. And so now they want to bring this new love offer in to you. This, this masculine wants to bring in a love offer to you, I'm telling you. The emperor... The emperor is trying to thinking of a plan. What can they do? What can they say? They may not take no for an answer. Somebody is up late at night drinking. Somebody may be up drinking late at night and they want to come to your house or they may drunk text you or pop up. It's like while this person was home drinking by themselves or they were out drinking somewhere, regardless of whether they were alone or not, they get this realization. They have this aha moment. This aha moment is like, oh shit. It hits them. Something hits this person. I feel like while they're drinking, because this emperor in this deck is holding a cup. Okay. And they're like, dang, I need to go towards the collective. I miss them. Um, they also want to have sex with you too. Keep that in mind. The Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Okay. So let's see what this drama was about. Can you show me what that Ten of Swords and that Three of Cups was about? Clarify that Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups for this Divine Masculine. Ooh. Somebody may have had a threesome. Somebody may have had a threesome. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I gotta say it. Somebody may have said, agreed to hook up with a, somebody that they knew, have group sex or a threesome or something, and the person that they joined in, that joined in with them, betrayed them, and they continued to do this together behind somebody else's back. We have meeting two or more people, planning and discussing, sex shop, and rejection, loss, and fragmenting. I feel like whatever they did, it was fun for like a very, very short period of time. And then, boom, child, it ain't work out. Tell me more about this ten of, ten of Swords and this Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords and this Three of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that they went back to or somebody that they have a history with. But again, it didn't work out. There are too many differences with this, this person. I mean, with oh shoot, y'all. There's too many differences between the two of them. They, these people don't talk. They don't not in alignment with each other. I don't even know why they went back. Show me this Ten of Swords. They definitely went back to somebody, and I don't know what for, because it didn't it did it, it, it ain't work. Show me this Ten of Swords and this Three of Cups. Child, they were dealing with yeah, marriage. Marriage or certificate. Some of y'all, they went back to somebody they were married to or somebody they divorced or somebody they were with or somebody they lived with, whoever. But whoever this is, this person can't be trusted. Somebody did something they weren't supposed to do. Um, and somebody from their friend group, I cannot make this up. Commitment, friendship, stalking, can't be trusted. Somebody was following somebody. 
somebody was following somebody or going through somebody's stuff and found out that this friend or the person that they drug into this hater um, betrayed them. Somebody also too, they may have made a video and somebody may have thought that they deleted that video, but they did not delete that video. I, that is not for everybody. Now this person is going to be put on child support, alimony. They're having some legal problems, okay? They may have to pay some child support or they may need help with their finances here. This person has a lot going on. I don't think you're going to want to talk to them. This, you know, somebody is having a hard time co-parenting with somebody, okay? Somebody here is not a good parent, okay? Whoever this person is dealing with, maybe you have a child with this person. Somebody here is not a good parent. Hmm. They're not paying child support. They're not doing something they're supposed to be doing. Show me more. Ace of Pentacles in reverse just came out. Somebody having money problems. This person is living beyond their means and spending too much money. Ego, vain. This is like a King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in reverse type energy okay then we have an offer coming out that's that drunk text that they i feel like they're about to drunk text yeah they're crying i'm telling you this person was sitting up crying over you sad hurt upset drinking and thinking about you and they get this aha moment like damn what did i get myself into how did i get here they done created a whole, they left you to go deal with this other person. And now this is what they got to deal with. This is what they're faced with cleaning up. All they do is sit around and think about you. Show me more here. Yeah, all they do is think about you. Day and night, unsent messages sitting here holding their phone in their hand. Didn't I say that? They writing text messages, but they not sending them. Some of y'all, they can't send them because you blocked them. This person's getting ready to run. I told you they want to get in their car and come towards you collective. They want to get in their car. Maybe because I'm tired. The collective got me blocked. I'm going to just drive, drive over there then. I'm going to knock on the door. Since you won't answer my calls, collective, why you not answering my text messages on my phone calls? Why you still got me blocked? I feel like you avoiding the hell out of this person. Like I said earlier, you gonna be looking at the phone. They gonna be calling you. You gonna be like this. Mm, I don't know why you calling me. I don't. I'm not. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> yeah, this is you. You don't have anything to say. Cleansing your energy, meditating, clearing, removing negative energy, healing your heart, showing yourself some love and support. Yeah, you don't care. You're unfazed. I'm going to tell you this. This person had a lot of pride and ego. That's where they operated out of their pride and their ego, right? Sorry, y'all. They operated out of their pride and ego. They acted like they didn't care. This person did everything they could to hide their feelings with this moon energy. Act like they didn't miss you. They were unfazed by the separation. They're doing better without you. But low key, and this person was in that energy for real, for real. They were trying to portray that. But now that either A, things ain't working out with them, you know, they waited on you for the longest time and you never hit them back. They never heard back from you. So now this person is sitting drinking. They, yeah, they, they, okay. This person also has a lot of drama in their life. They're losing control. This person don't have control over their life. They're going through a lot of drama right now. In the present moment, this person is experiencing all these drama, all this drama. And they are tired of it. They used to be able to have control over other people, have control over situations. And this person is losing up. They were just in this. I ain't calling the collective. I'm good. I don't need the collective. I don't care that the collective ain't talking to me. Nah, you over here in your North Node healing. Okay. Child, you over here sitting in abundance, minding your business. What else do we need to know about this? Mm. So I'm telling you somebody's double life came out. Somebody's double life came out. Double life just came out in reverse. Whatever was hidden is coming to light or whatever this person was doing or somebody else, honey. It's, 
being revealed to them. See, this is you and this queen rising energy. You're doing good. Healing. Stepping into your power. You're in the spotlight. Okay? I told you this person was in their pride and their ego clueless. Honestly, I don't even know what I did wrong. Maybe you'll tell me. This is how they were. Not anymore. <sighs> this person is about to come, come back and fight for you. Child. Only because they jealous. Maybe some of y'all have moved on. Something about this person still wearing a mask here that I don't trust. This person gets jealous. Even if you haven't moved on, this person's like, maybe, maybe I moved, you know, the collector moved on already. You know, how can I steal the collector from the person that they with? How can I distract them from whatever else they have going on? Be careful, okay? Didn't I say something about karmic energy earlier? Under spiritual attack. Be careful with this energy. Y'all cleanse y'all energy. It says fighting off negative energy, fighting spiritual warfare, needing to clear, clear your energy. And we saw that sage energy, which is like cleansing, meditating. Continue to do that, okay? Because somebody here in this situation is, I feel like, just sending you some weird ass. Some of y'all, this person is going to ask you to go on a trip. I'm sorry. Let's go take, let's get away. Anyway, uh, you could be dealing with any zodiac sign. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. You can email me or you can go directly to the link for Etsy in order of reading. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Cancer, an Aries, um, or a Pisces or a Gemini. Um, specifically, I know we saw a lot of Sag and we saw a lot of Libra energy too, but you could really be dealing with any sign if this resonates for you. So I love y'all. Hit the like button. I'll see you later. Bye.